Hi everybody, it's Bo. T today, um, before I install uh, this Renegy 3000 watt um, charger slash inverter, I thought I'm gonna give uh, you guys a little bit of an overview. This is not a, a functionality review, it's just an overview of uh, the outside and what you expect when you uh, when you uh, buy this in case you uh, plan to order it and uh, you want to know the exact length and the weight and uh, when you open the box what do you see so let's get started so when you open the box what you find in there um, you will find this um, the uh, owner's manual. Okay, this is for the uh, 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Okay, and uh, what else you find? The the remote control, the on off remote control that has a, uh, a uh, jack that plugs into here, just like the telephone plug. And you also find the battery sensor here that connect into here so it can sense your battery temperature all right so take a look from the outside this is what you see okay this side this is the uh, um, charger size which is the it's heavier oh by the way the overall weight for this unit is 28.8 kilograms which is about 20 about 63 and a half and a half pounds so if you considering the weight this is heavy um, so this size nothing it's just a, the uh, air in uh, intake for cooling the charger okay and then on this side is the inverter side um, it doesn't come with any of these cable not none of these okay this is what you see okay minus the cable and you're gonna have to uh, create your own uh, plug because there's no plug like like um, other inverters you buy you would have already the uh, output uh, plug for the um, AC power this one doesn't okay and I will open up and show you how uh, I plug it in. All right, on the top is your LCD the, uh, displays. I haven't turned it on. I don't know how it looks like. Again, I'm not doing any functionality tests. Um, okay, so in order to, to get your AC uh, plug, you're gonna have to uh, buy your own outlet like this okay or more outlets if you will um, a heavy duty outlet kind of uh, for me I, I only need three of these plugs and this is um, 15 amp plug just like your household except it's a heavy duty kind this is metal casing I will put a link of uh, this item here below and also for the energy uh, let's open it up take a look on the inside you're gonna have to open I'm trying to do it from this oh <laughs> all right you're gonna open one two three screws on each side wait one two th yeah one two three on this side and three on this side and two on the top here I already opened half of it actually and Oh wait, before I open it up, let's take the measurement. I forgot about that. Alright. 
overall measurement right here so it is including the knob here it'll, it'll be about 21 and a quarter that's an overall length okay don't forget your cable and then the width I want to go from the base okay right there about you give it about 11 and a half okay 11 and a half the height overall from the floor to the top it's about seven oh you you you're gonna need clan for uh, the LCD here okay yeah but this is the overall length for the unit itself all right take a look from inside okay when you open up this what you see in this case I already connected okay okay so on this side this is where you're going to uh, plug in into the uh, outside source like the if you're at home you plug in at home or at the campground with with this um, outside power available so that is for charging your battery okay. and then on this side okay we we'll say your output here that is when you connect to here for you to use okay and if using using the same um, cable it'll be like that the uh, ground and then the, your uh, hot the black wire and the white okay so same thing here ground black in the middle and the white all right and then your uh, sensor the battery sensor coming in through here connects into there okay and another one is the remote control for on and off turning the unit on and off you also run through here and you're gonna plug it into there okay lastly these two holes right here these are for your battery cable okay the battery coming in from uh, yeah coming in from the batteries into here so you have your red terminal and your black terminal here that goes into your battery the positive and the negative and that is it okay and this here is your on and off switch from the outside after you closed it okay a quick update on this I, I just uh, remember that we have this so instead of instead of uh, plugging this where you have to yeah, plug it in through the door or you have the door open to plug it in or something we're gonna run this wire here and through uh, the uh, side panel, the wall of the van, it has an access to go um, on the outside on the bottom. And we are going to use this waterproof plug right here. Alright, this is the uh, male plug. And we are going to use this wire. Okay, this is a, a 12 gauge. I think yeah 12 gauge wires to run from here okay replace this one and on the other side of it will be this and it is waterproof 
I think it's a bad it's a better choice. But you can hit you can uh, do either way. Whatever is better for you works the same way. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Go with this one. Again, it's uh, Renegy 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter slash slash charger. And good luck on your project. And thank you for watching. See you later. It's a hot day today. So I set up this canopy so I can work on it, but I forgot that I didn't eat anything yet. Got so hungry, dude. Got some energy, I can work all day. See you. <laughs>